The comments, the Honourable Member for Saanich and Gulf Islands. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I want to thank the Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. He's been a long champion on this issue, and perhaps in this session of Parliament we'll be able to see changes made to address the concerns the Minister of Heritage has told us he's open to change. And I'd like to ask the Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay, and I'm certainly very concerned with the Canadian Library Association's concerns that the digital lock will impede on their ability to use materials in the public interest. Would the member for Timmins James Bay agree with the Library Association that perhaps adding the words for an infringing use to qualify this requirement of a digital lock would have any effect in making this legislation less egregious? The member for Timmins James Bay. Thank you. I'd like to honor, uh, thank the honourable colleague for her question. And certainly, the position of the New Democratic Party is this bill is highly problematic. But we believe in updating the copyright regime, and we believe it's possible with amending language. For example, with, to, to address the concerns of, of Canadian librarians, they were not heard by this government. But the amending language to ensure that we would differentiate between what is done for infringing purposes and what is done in order to allow people the education opportunities that exist in the digital realm. That it is possible to find that amending language, and we've seen it done with our other WIPO-compliant countries. If the government is not willing to come to those reasonable balanced compromises, then Bill C-11 will not be balanced. It will be uh, detrimental to Canadian artists, to Canadian consumers, and to Canadian students and educators. So we are more than willing to bring forward the amending language that will fix the problems of this bill. And the problems are legion. They are many, but they can be fixed. What it's going to take, Madam Speaker, is whether or not there's goodwill on the part of this government to step back a bit and say, we came so far down the road, but we didn't quite get it right, but let's all work together because it's not in the interest of the Canadian Parliament to delay copyright legislation. It's not in the interest of Canadian Parliament not to move forward with copyright, but it's definitely not in the interest of the Canadian Parliament to move forward with a bill that is fundamentally flawed. Resuming debate, the Honourable.